Now that you understood a little bit of architecture of the Spring MVC, I would really recommend now to play around with it. So change things in here. So what would happen if I return login1 instead of login? What would happen if I give login1 here? What would happen if I go to the to-do servlet.xml and change this JSP to some other thing, XML, let's say? What would happen? So just try and play around with the different things which are present in here. So just go ahead, change anything that you would want and see what would be the result. Go to the servlet.xml, go to web.xml, change something and see how you can redirect to that particular URL. Once you play around with whatever is in here, I would really recommend to create another controller. So try creating another controller and try to redirect to another view. So create another controller, let's say user controller, just give it a URL and just try to invoke that from the server. So just try different things, I mean try playing around with this particular setup that we have and try to learn from it. The, the best way to learn any framework is get to a working state and then play with it. Play, change different things, see what error comes up, try to understand from that error which is thrown, what's happening in the background. So if I change this to login one, what would happen? Let's see. Okay, it's loaded up now. So what would happen? Okay, so what it's doing is the view resolver is saying you should go to login onejsp but there isn't a login onejsp and that's why you get a 404. So this is called a error response. What's the error status? It's 404. Play around, change the URL and try and see how you have to invoke that particular URL. Go to the web XML and change the URL you give to it. So make it Spring MVC-2. Change the XML name. So instead of to do servlet, call it to do servlet1.xml and see what error is thrown. What would be the error that's thrown? Shall we try that? Just the XML change does not trigger the load of the server again. So I'm changing the login one back to login as well. But most importantly, what we did is we changed the to do hyphen servlet one. What would be the error? What would be the error? What is it saying? File not found. Could not open servlet context to do servlet.xml. Who is throwing this error? Look at it. This is during the initialization of a servlet. And which servlet is it? The dispatcher servlet. And then the code comes into the spring framework. The spring framework is trying to load the context. And when it's trying to con load the context, it's trying to find the XML and it's not able to find it. In the initialization of the dispatcher servlet that we put it in the web.xml. In the web.xml, what did we configure? We configured the dispatcher servlet. So in the initialize method, in the init method of this servlet, if you look at it, there's a lot of code which runs. So if you go in the dispatcher servlet and if you look at it, it extends a framework servlet. So I can go in there and it extends something else. Is there an init method in here? It goes in here. Yep. And that's where the init method is. So there's an initialization which is happening here and that initialization caused the error to be thrown. So that's the kind of things that you would need to try and play around. The way I clicked into the source of dispatcher servlet is by pressing control and the class name. So just try control and take your mouse over it and then you'd be able to click it and go to that particular class. So this way of playing around with the framework would help you to get much deeper understanding.